dear Capricorn, this is a love and spirituality reading, a prediction for Scorpio season, October 22nd to November 22nd, with me, Queen of Cups Tarot. These readings are aimed towards showing you your blind spot and your shadow so you can grow as a person and thereby be able to attract a better love life and life overall for yourself. This will be a love and spirituality reading for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising Sign and Venus, Vedic or Tropical. And if you need more information or help after you have listened to this reading, you can turn to the love readings for October that is up. And if you have uh, Cancer or Sagittarius somewhere in your chart, there are bonus readings up revealing what the person most on your mind's true thoughts and feelings are about you are. You can also check out the near personal readings and the pick a card readings on the first page of my channel. Click the headline of each playlist to see all the videos that the playlist contains. And I will start shuffling your cards and I use the Before Tarot by Pietro Aligo that uh, rhymes well to my uh, African Halloween theme here <laughs> this day. Okay, so, uh, and when I open your deck here, I see the High Priestess together with the Lovers. So you have learned a certain amount of self-respect in your relationships and you don't give your love just to whomever even if it's you have a great connection uh, with a certain person if this person doesn't uh, want to cooperate with you or want to show you love or have mutual uh, understanding uh, this is not someone that you're letting in so you're embracing the masculine element here of fire and becoming more uh, more filled with uh, authority okay so I call uh, the divine with love and light. And here we have disappointment, five of cups together with the lover. So you probably feel a certain uncomfortable feeling of disappointment of the things that have went down in your life. Uh, but it doesn't change that what you have learned was a good lesson that has put you in a better spot uh, to have actually better relationships uh, in the future. So I call the four archangels and here we have justice together with lovers. So there need to be equalness and it needs to be balance in a give and take in all relationships that you have in your life. It doesn't always mean that one is always the one reaching or both people need to always be the one reaching out. It can be that one is good on reaching out, but another person gives in another way. It doesn't have to be like equal juice in the glass always, but uh, at least there need to be <laughs> what we can contribute, we should contribute with so they can be added to the whole, to the community, to the relationship so that we can grow together and support each other. And we have a peace dove here and the sword is put down. Uh, so I'm feeling that they might come through apologies or uh, you might um, make peace with someone also in your mind that you don't have to be angry with them anymore, even if you are disappointed on what has been. So six elements. And here we have the seven of cups together with the lovers. <clears throat> Sorry. So the seven of cups here. Hmm. You probably feel like the love you have for someone uh, must be an illusion and you don't understand why it hangs on. You see the lovers have been hanging on here uh, in this <laughs> shuffling as well. Uh, so you're very scared that what you're feeling is an illusion and you don't really know what love is at this point because maybe before you put your whole head and heart and body into a situation and it didn't pan out well. Uh, so now you want to uh, you want to be more sensible, more grown up when it comes to your choices, when it comes to love. And you don't understand why you have certain feelings to certain uh, people. But it might be that they represent some, uh, some, some part of you that you need to become aware of. A shadow, a lost soul part, a trauma. Okay, so I'm just going to tune in here for a few seconds to you and your situation in Scorpio season Capricorn. Okay, 
so this is the new bottom of the deck and we have strength here so it goes very well with the high priestess that we saw and the element of fire so you're not um, only being the uh, vain <laughs> no not vain but the humble um, entity seeking for love uh, you also roar at this point okay and the uh, old bottom of the deck, it's the four of pentacles. And um, so here is an unequal situation where someone is on top and the other one is giving to the person on top. Because in other case, they will be mad or angry or uh, do some stupid thing or some revenge. <laughs> you don't know. So I'm thinking you're less fearful of these kind of situations now. Uh, so it's not, no worry. <laughs> okay, you know, you don't worry as much for people like this anymore and you don't have to give them uh, of uh, your energy of your time or anything else because uh, you you are not scared of them anymore so you have also obtained more courage uh, to rebel or to stand your ground or to uh, even chase out people from your temple there high priestess okay so we have the past the present and here is the future but there's more to this reading so this is the situation here and we have the eight of swords so it seems like people haven't really been treating you particularly nice it's almost like an executioner here um putting you in in prison and um, it's eight so it's connected to the uh, lion that we saw eight strength card and hmm, I'm thinking uh, there's two sides to this. First is that you have been uh, kind of easy to victimize or blame for things that you, you are the one doing things wrong. So this was your fault and uh, therefore you are punished in this way. Uh, so people try to keep you in line and control you in many ways. But there's also another uh, point to this. You are also putting yourself in prison with the thoughts that you have uh, and you probably punish yourself inside your head and uh, second guess yourself and uh, think through if you are allowed to uh, to do this, to say this, to be this. If you are allowed to be yourself, are you allowed to make your voice heard? Are you allowed to speak your mind, speak, have your uh, opinion? Uh, so um, you're still a little bit scared of this. What will be the consequences of being the roaring uh, lion? Okay, so here is the foundation. And we have the page of pentacles, which shows the situation where you have tried to really be uh, the best version of yourself to get a good, um, a good outcome for yourself. But we see that it hasn't really, you know, been the best approach because it has made you an easy victim in many ways and um, uh, we can also see here the flowers are gone and it's very barren land so even if you built all this this is your reward here so um, it's it's very strange of course but it's most people's experience that this is the case we put in our best effort and we are standing there with like gold that turned to sand so your mission in all this and we have a four of swords so uh, you're going through some kind of transformational state uh, where you're shifting from one way of being to the other you're shifting from uh, being um, maybe very humble or uh, giving too much of yourself in relationships uh, to questioning this uh, is is this really the outcome you want for all the effort you put in and here it's almost like you're spending this time in prison but i'm thinking it's time apart from other people uh, time apart from people that really means a lot to you but you don't know why you love them the seven of cups that we saw because um, it doesn't seem like it's mutual or it doesn't seem like they are appreciating you or celebrating you or even tolerating you since putting you in prison like this so it's almost like people wants to silence you and and you also seem to accept this by walking away and silencing yourself okay i put myself in prison hmm okay uh so i actually heard this sound <laughs> sound of silence but it's coming 
a little bit too often for me to be happy with this, but I'm writing it down anyway. Sound of silence. Uh, if you haven't learned by now, I, I guess you still need the song. So it's about uh, that the prophets are like not just the celebrated people, but they are everywhere in the subway, in the, um, the tenement halls, in the, everywhere in life you have prophets, people knowing their truth, but they're not speaking the truth. They are letting themselves be silenced because of other people's opinion or the uh, probable punishment that could come from speaking your truth or saying your opinion or your take on things. So it seems like you are... Uh, obeying to the uh, uh, consensus that we shouldn't uh, uh, make too much fuss of ourselves. Okay, so this is um, divine interference and we have the star and she has, I think it's a storch or it's some kind of water bird with the long legs and, and, and beak. <laughs> so uh, I feel it comes with hope. The star card is about hope and it's about your achievement and you were born this way to be this way. You weren't born to uh, hide away or to silence yourself or let other people silence you. Uh, you were born to be you. You were kind of sent here like this. And this is how life did you. With you having the best, uh, the best intentions here. Um, this is not really fair, I think. But it's because it's lacking an element. And it's the eight, the strength card that we saw. The roaring lion is missing. No one is protecting you. You are expecting other people to protect you and you wonder, oh, why or oh, why is this happening to me? I have so much troubles in my life. There's happening so much bad things, but it's because you are not taking care of you. Uh, you need to be your own adversary, your own hero, uh, your own judge, the one that gives yourself justice. It doesn't mean take revenge or things like this. It just means that... Um, you decide which situation you want to stay in and which you want to leave if you want to make it really simple. Okay, so this is how it's all for you then. <laughs> we have judgment. Yes, the divine really wants you to wake up from your uh, human uh, experience and to become the soul, uh, the lion. I have um, also shows the lion <laughs> candles here. Uh, so it's very appropriate. Um, it's very typical also for Capricorn. Uh, there's a story where God uh, handed out a lot of different gifts to all the 12 astrological signs. Like beautiful gift that, gifts that made them feel so much self-respect and celebrated by God. But to Capricorn, God gave a labor, work, uh, to be of service and work. And... Um, uh, it's very typical because I think already back in this time, uh, you are probably not having the best self-worth and feeling that you're only worth with the things that you made, the accomplishment you made. So you had very little connection with your soul self, with the worthiness that you are like God. There's a sparkle of God in everyone, also in Capricorn. Why do you have to be... Uh, the servant or the one working their little behind off to be worthy of some kind of success or pleasure. Um, so it's time to race from the grave here and, um, you know, get a little busy with being your true self in, instead of being this, um, this silent um, kind of uh, imprisoned self that's uh, just trying to survive in a very harsh world where everyone seems to judge you. Uh, everyone judges you because you judges yourself. Judgment, okay. So, a uh, combination between uh, foundation and this, how it is for you, and we have the world. So, you are here to, to grow as a soul and to uh, realize that you are a part of everything too. So, coming back into union, basically. Uh, and that is by being everything, human, eagle, lion, bull. You need to be stubborn. Uh, you need to be a risk taker or, or like being able to protect yourself or um, to roar, to say no. And you need to be able to see things from above, having judgment. And the human take on things is um, a little bit more uh, complex, but it's about uh, rising from being maybe a 
uh, dwarf in the fog, as uh, Khalil Gibran said, to becoming uh, maybe the angel or the human or the soul walking on earth. Uh, so, um, you are here for your highest uh, soul purpose to finally realize uh, your own worth. So, uh, the divine is putting you in scenarios where you are reliving this again and again and again and again and again until you will say no. So, use the law of repulsion. Say no to the things you don't want and walk away from them. Uh, so, this is your work. <laughs> we have work here. So, <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this was harsh. I want to take an oracle card to see what's going on there. So, from Spirit Messages Oracle. Animal Kingdom. Animals of all types are extraordinary creatures and miraculous gifts to us. They've been uh, at... <laughs> our spiritual companions since the dawn of time at this moment they have lessons to share with you that will open your heart and soul um, so i'm thinking of this story i sometimes tell about how egypt uh, thought that animals were uh, closer to god uh, than humans were that's why i have this uh, crocodile here and the lion uh, it's um, i was thinking of putting my egyptian statues also but i took this uh, eastern symbol with a hand instead um, and um, so you think that you are the workforce that you are like low like animals like you are um, a servant it's, something has happened to you uh, Capricorn like long time ago that made you disorient yourself from your own worthiness no one else have have really started to dishonor you but yourself okay and uh, here we can see that this that's so close to uh, God is being seen as by humans as uh, now in these modern times, not the Egyptian times, but as, uh, um, you, you know, you, if you uh, drive over an animal, it's the animal's fault. We need to shoot more animals so they are not running around on the street so we can hit them with our car. It's not about, oh, um, we have animals here change this to children oh there were children here uh, i was driving over them with my car they 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 bruised my bumper i need to change bumper here they can't be children running around on the streets so we have a very dishonoring view on on animals and i'm thinking you are as close to god as these animals and you have the same uh, value at you as this person that's driving <laughs> on animals and children in my little story here um, you are not honoring yourself your god essence the things that's um, you know crucial with you uh, your body uh, the warmth in your hand uh, you breathing in and out the things that's you know uh, really making you present here and now you're trying to achieve something there in the future that will make you worthy but you're worthy already now just by existing. So I'm thinking learning to exist a little bit more like the animals. They don't know what day it is of the week or uh, what the calendar says. Or they're just uh, living for eternity like in the now until they, they leave this place because they want another experience. But they're always here now while you are always trying to achieve something that doesn't even need to be achieved uh, you just need to find yourself and your own worthiness and your own uh, self-love and self-respect. Okay, so this is outcome, uh, other interference. So, sorry, uh, five of wands. So they're not cooperating particularly well with you, but we have already seen that. And it's uh, mirrored out. So how you're treating yourself is how other going to treat you. I'm sorry for my share. It's very spooky today. Um... I can give you another example. It was from when I was young and I just had a driver's license and uh, uh, it was in this time it was still, um, I, I got the feeling anyway that females were still seen as chicken in traffic. They shouldn't drive uh, as little as uh, hens should drive cars, girls shouldn't or women shouldn't drive cars. And um, I felt very awkward whenever I was to fill my car with gasoline or driving around with my car and meeting uh, a man on the street like with their car. 
And what happened was that a lot of men uh, stopped my car and told me that I was a bad driver. And I don't didn't <laughs> understand. I first I panicked and and thought that oh they are really it's really problem with uh, uh, equalness in the society and things like this. Uh, they can't accept a woman driving in traffic. But eventually I realized that this was all in me. I was the one having this voice inside of my head telling you, me, keep you yourself on this side of the street. Don't do this. Don't do that. Don't do this. Uh, don't behave badly. And maybe blushing also, getting really excited about things that um, I really didn't need to be excited about, things that I thought could happen. And ex in the moment I stopped, uh, people stopped doing this to me. <laughs> so it just miraculously vanished so it wasn't even these people's fault they just mirrored what I was already telling myself in my own head okay and this is outcome together with you and other people and we have temperance so uh, we learn from each other we learn by mirroring our shadows in other people so if the thing you see isn't pleasant enough see how this can change there's so many different things for example um, I was also irritated on a person at the place where I worked that I thought was very lazy uh, and uh, after <laughs> being irritated on this person for a couple of years I realized I could never really relax when I had uh, a little pause or lunch or anything like that. I stressed back if my lunch was 30 minutes I had a 20 minute lunch and then I rushed back to work. So my problem wasn't with this person being lazy it was with me not uh, letting myself uh, take a pause and take a break and, and rest. Uh, so uh, when I changed that, it uh, I also were able to accept this person uh, their more uh, slow pace because they were also very resilient. They could work for very long and they didn't get sick as much as I did because they, they worked in a more um, temperate way, a more um, with harmony and instead of uh, running around like a squirrel with their tail on fire. So um, whatever you see in the world that you're irritating on, irritating yourself on, uh, how they treat you or how they did you or how this person is or their contribution to the world and it's bad and it's that, try to not focus so much on that. Try to feel into what is, is it that I am doing to myself or what am I giving to this situation? You can take these other people just as clues. So what are they doing? What is this telling me about myself? Okay. So I will also take a Wisdom of the House of Night uh, Oracle card for you. Whoops. Obedience. <laughs> yes, I'm thinking this is your biggest fear, this card. So this will... Here I will read you your fear. Uh... So, there are rules for everything. The sun rises and the moon sets, and they dance together in perfect steps. What rules are you considering when you ask your question? You'll be sorry if you are going to break a rule that's in place to protect you and others. Even though you may not like authority right now, this is a time to obey what has already been set in motion. This is a time to learn the lay of the land and to follow the customs that keep things in order. Learn the steps of the dance before you attempt to change them to suit you. Uh, so I'm thinking this is your whole humbleness speak speech that you shouldn't uh, uh, ever have an opinion of your own. You should um, uh, put yourself in the center of the masses and do as everyone else. But this is what happens when you do that, when you silence yourself like this, uh, when you don't think that you have any authority and that you um, think that you, you don't have any control or you don't have anything to say that there's someone else being above you uh, there's not okay there's uh, there can be souls being a little bit more experienced than you but they still come from the same source uh, so they're still um, sparkle of god just like you here some stars might shine brighter than others seemingly but it doesn't mean that they are made of anything else than what you are made of uh, so you have the right to dictate the rules too. It doesn't mean uh, hurting or harming someone or um, um, putting aside other people's security or as I said taking revenge or anything like that. It's just you becoming more relaxed, being more in harmony with your inner nature 
with your inner animal or your inner spirit instead of trying to be this human obeying the Ten Commandments and running around like crazy trying to be worthy of taking breaths in and out of your lungs. You already do that. Uh, you don't have to be worthy of it. A life is already given to you. So try to find out uh, how you want to spend your time. Maybe less uh, working and achieving and more living. Okay, that could be an advice for you, <laughs> Capricorn. Okay, so um, take a little pause and figure out how where you want to go in life, in what direction you want to take things. Things are not going to move forward uh, until you settle this old uh, karmic situation here uh, where you're not really honoring yourself and um, you are feeling like a victim to things that you have created yourself instead of going back to the source, which is you and finding out what your creations are. So what am I thinking? What am I uh, aiming my energy towards? What am I constantly obsessing about? This is what I'm going to create in my life. Okay, so my dear uh, Capricorn, thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful. If you like my content and want to see more videos like this on how to heal yourself and make yourself ready for that true romantic partner of yours, or if you just want to work on your spiritual growth, remember to subscribe and hit the bell notification to get a heads up when a new video is ready and waiting for you. The next round of astrological videos will be my love readings that I will do in late October for the month of November for all the signs. And also keep on the lookout for the near personal readings and the bonus readings that will be spread throughout the season. Thank you so much for being on this journey with me. I'm truly grateful for my wonderful, loving and supporting viewers. Until next time, take really good care and stay blessed. Okay, bye bye.